I'm Nancy Strickland, and this video is a quick intro to the PowerShell Integrated Scripting Environment, the ISC. The ISC is a graphic host for PowerShell, so instead of having to do your scripting work in a command prompt window, you can now use this. Here's how you start it. You may be able to access it from all programs, or you can start PowerShell itself, and then from it, PowerShell underscore ISC. Now you can leave that PowerShell command window open if you want, but you don't have to. Once the ISC is running, that's enough. It doesn't depend on that PowerShell window being open. Okay, down here at the bottom you can see that you have a PowerShell prompt where you can type a single command. And when you press Enter, it'll be executed and the output is here in the output window, the output pane. To get help, I can press F1, and I get a standard Windows help window with searching. And I can also get context-sensitive help. If I put my cursor on a particular command and press F1, then my help window opens with that command selected. And then here in the lower right is something I really like. There's a little text slider so that I can adjust the size of my text, whatever I'd like, and I can also adjust the size of the whole window. And there's also a kind of simple IntelliSense. If I try to start a command like get H and then I press Tab, it's going to show me the first command it finds that starts with get H alphabetically. And then if I keep pressing Tab, I'll see all of them. It'll iterate through every possible command that starts with get H and then start over when it gets to the end of the list. And if I just typed the get, for example, I could see every single command that starts with get that there is. I can also write a multi-line script into the editor directly. Now, if you don't see the script pane when you open PowerShell, it's not here. You can go up here to this little script button uh, up here in the upper right, and when you click on it, then the script window opens up here. That gives you a nice multi-line interface instead of the one line at a time command prompt. You can basically work like you do in an editor like Notepad. It's got an undo and a redo button up here, which is very handy. And when you're ready to run your script for testing, you can press F5 or you can click on this little green triangle button up here so you can see that the interface is something like a simplified Visual Studio. Now when I run it, I'm not at a command line, so it opens up a dialog for me to do my user input. And here's my output again in the output pane. I can also select only part of my script and run only that part, either by right-clicking and selecting Run Selection or just by pressing F8, and it runs only that part. Now, it still knows what the value that's in dollar sign $in is, so it still says Hello Bob, but notice that it didn't ask me to enter the name. It didn't run that part of the code. And if I click on the Save button up here, I'll be saving a PS1 script. I'll put it right on my desktop and call it S1, and when I save it, it's going to be saved right there to my desktop. Now I've got some code in here. If I want to start another script, I could of course delete this, I could clear it, but I could also press either Control T or File and New Tab, and I get a new tab where I can write more script or another script so that I could be working on more than one script at once or more than one version of a script simultaneously and just click back and forth between them. But I think the best new feature is the debugger, which is now a graphic debugger that you can access here. I can set a breakpoint. I'm going to select this line right here and I can either press F9 or I can right click and click toggle breakpoint and that's a toggle so I can turn it off and on. Now when I run again, I'm going to press F5. 
execution starts and it stops when it hits the breakpoint just before it executes it and it turns it yellow and then in the output pane I can see that I'm in debug mode and also down here in the command line I'm in debug mode right now so in the command line if I wanted to view the contents of some variable I can just type it in and it shows me the current value of that variable. I can also see the call stack at any time by going to debug and display call stack or you see it's also control shift D and there's not much of a stack here but there could be and I can also single step through my code with the same keys that I'd use in Visual Studio F10 to step over to execute a line all at once F11 to step into that line if that line involves a call to a function or something and then shift F11 to step back out of the function or at any time I can hit F5 again to continue running until the next breakpoint or until the end. So I hit F5 just then and it continued running and gave me my output. So you get pretty much all the basic functionality of a nice debugger for your scripts. That's a very nice feature. And, uh, and there you've seen it, a quick look at the PowerShell ISE in under seven minutes.